big up to everyone lovely family lovely friends out there wherever you're watching a winning unity platform from thank you so much and we do really really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a winning unity platform this video we're going to be giving you uh, the update about patrick pfeiffer we're also going to be giving you update about edin katia and also tarek lamte and we'll be finishing with you Baba Yara Sports Stadium latest update right here at Awini Unity platform. But please, if you are watching the channel and you haven't subscribed to Awini Unity platform yet, please do so. Subscribe to the channel. Um, share to your friends. Comment. Share your opinion on this. We're about to share with you right here. We will be interacting with you in the comment section, replying you as well. And also give us thumbs up. This help us to grow and also help us to always come out to give you African football uh, update particular ghana black stars players around the world so thank you so much for always doing so we do really really appreciate you right here as well so very quick one let me pass this through before we go into the main details right here if you are living here in spain and this weekend the matches that are available for um local channels maybe if you do not have a uh, movie star movie stars and you want maybe a local channel matches that are going to be showing there this evening later this evening uefa conference league betty is going to be playing their qualifiers and they're going to be showing that match in tele quattro okay tele quattro that is tv4 so tomorrow uh, a local sports channel that will be showing if you do not have canal plus or movies movie star um go play going to be showing brl and severe math for free so um you can watch that if you do not have movie star okay so yeah very quick one let's move to edin katia a lot of people um asking about edin, edin katia and some people also talking about that edin katia already signed for nottingham forest 20 million pounds edin katia do not sign for nottingham forest yet um nottingham forest they went for 20 million pounds and arsenal will get Arsenal said they want 30 million pounds before they can release Eddie Nkatia. Two days, let's get to Arsenal though. They want over 30 million pounds for Eddie Nketiah as talks continue with Nottingham Forest for the striker. First of all, from the, the, the player's point of view, do you think this is a, a good move for him? Is, is it the right time for him now to go somewhere else, seek past his new, get some more minutes under his belt? Yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? I think, you know, for Arsenal, for the player as well, you know, he's not really been able to get consistent time, uh, game time for Eddie Nketiah. And as you mentioned, you know, I think at this point in his career, he needs to be really starting every week. I think the question is, is that Nottingham Forest when they have two strikers already in Chris Wood and Tyler Winnie? Uh, I mean, he's obviously, they've had, they've had injury problems, though, those two players. I think Nketiah, will probably back himself to get in the team above those players. He'll have a big belief in what he can do. And I think Enkete, what's been missing from his career so far is that consistent game time. You can't be consistent when you're playing 20 minutes here, 60 minutes there, not coming <clears> off the bench for a few games. He isn't going to get the minutes that he need, needs at Arsenal, so he needs to go somewhere. Forest is a good environment. You, you, you've been there plenty of times. I've been there a few times as well. Forest is a, is, is a good club. I think he can go there and kind of kickstart his, his, his career a little bit. I think I think that's what he needs. He's almost got got lost in Arsenal. I think when he signed his contract, Arsenal weren't the beast that, that they are now. And over the years, they've almost kind of gone beyond Nketiah's current level. I'm not saying he could never get to that level, but at the moment, I don't think he's quite there to be a striker for a team that's challenging for the title. And I think in some ways, if Nketiah can take a backward step at Forest, it might enable him to go forwards later on in his career. Uh, just question, but if he comes into Forest with Wooden and Awani there, if they both stay, is he number one? Does he go in as number one? I think it's a different option for Nuno Spirit Santo and probably just allows him to be a bit more flexible week to week. I think you look at Chris Wood, you know, he's very underrated, I think, last season. 14 goals in the Premier League, another double-digit mm. season for him. You mentioned Tyo Winyi, he struggled with a groin injury last season. So I think letting him work back into the season on his fitness, I don't think is a bad thing. I think with Eddie Nketiah, you have a different profile of a striker, you know, someone who can run in behind. Also maybe link a bit differently with likes of Morgan Gibbs-White, Callum Hudson-Odoi, who he'll know very well from the England underage groups as well. Yeah. Anthony Alanga as well off the other wing. Uh, so I think, you know, that actually as a front four, 
there's a lot of speed there, there's a lot of creativity, and also it's just a bit of a different attack compared to if you would have had Tyler when you or Chris Wood there. So I think that's something Nuno Espirito Santo has been looking for. I think Nottingham Forest are also potentially looking at the fine old striker, Santiago Jimenez as well. So it definitely looks like they're looking for that extra number nine. We'll just see in the last week of the window again, what are they going to do about it? Mm. So yeah, there you, there you have it. So Arsenal want after Olympic match said that um, I, if you remember, I told you guys earlier on that Edin Katia is doing his best possible to get out from Arsenal because he's not getting the playing time he feel like he really deserves. We have been telling these guys that go back where you're coming from. After Edin Katia going to go back to Nottingham Forest and now when Ghana qualify for the World Cup, they will all come available that they want to play for Ghana. We are not going to accept that again. So the, the earlier the better for you, Edin Katia, to make your decision now. So that is the latest news we have for you concerning about Edin Katia transfer latest news. Now, um, a lot of people commenting, saying that you want um, Otuado to invite Otuado to invite Patrick Pfeiffer. Yesterday, young boys play the Champions League qualifiers with Galatasaray. Um, Patrick Pfeiffer, your player, was nowhere to be found. So when I check on, I realized that Patrick Pfeiffer, after moving to Young Boys, guess a week, Patrick Pfeiffer is injured as now um, shooting this video. So you notice that Patrick Pfeiffer was not even the mark, the mark day squad. It was not where to be found. Yesterday, when Young Boys play with Galatasaray, and Young Boys, they won the game three goals to two. They nearly even lost that game, um, Young Boys, because they was leading by two goals to zero. And after the coach, the uh, Galatasaray coach introduced their new signing, that is um, Basuai, came on, yes, for first touch goal. I think within six minutes, Basuai scored two goals and 2-2, two -two, and Young Boys got the penalty and they uh, get the win. They got the win yesterday by three goals to two. So, but a five five was nowhere to be found. So, how can you demonstrate that you should call a player that not even playing and even now is injured? I don't know who even advised part a five five to go to young boys. If you are playing in second division, you are not getting really playing time on second division in Germany. You move to German Bundesliga one. There, the whole season, a team that is not even playing Europa League. The whole season you play only 11 matches and you are going to a young boys you are going to young boys young boys is one of this uh, switzerland biggest club okay is if, if is switzerland one of the biggest club in in switzerland if you move Baze and zurich young boy is one of the biggest club and full of a lot of black players that are fighting for position congolese players senegalese players Check young boys team and check the players that play yesterday. And you are going there say you want the playing time. Well, if I was to be him, I would have go a team that uh, even some team that I can get playing time. You know, if you really want to be part of Black Stars team. Because when you talk about defensive now, there is a lot of competition there. The players are there playing day out day and they are not even getting call up. What about you that warming bank? And Ghanaians are calling that they should invite Patrick Pfeiffer to Ghana Black Stars. <laughs> okay, now, very quick one. If you remember as well, I give you guys about Tarek Lamte injury situation. Tarek Lamte has returned training and looking up for this week to make the Mike Day squad. Maybe even though if you don't make the, the first 11 for this weekend, maybe probably he may come on second half so we are waiting to see time or tell. um they shouldn't lie lie to us that Tarek Lamte is fit because of Black Stars call up is coming and after that he will join Black Stars and the injury situation happen again like the what happened uh, 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 Wakasu and Ghana Black Stars back when we was going to Cameroon um, African Cup of Nation so yeah that is the update we have for you uh, now we are moving to Baba Yara Sports Stadium. Baba Yara Sports Stadium. What I'm getting the Baba Yara Sports Stadium, those who was asking that what is the condition of Baba Yara Sports Stadium. If you remember, I told you guys that 
those who are in charge they came out for some time ago and said baba yara sports stadium is on good condition ready to host the game and you can see the pitch you are seeing on your screen this is a pitch to host a game but i don't get it why are we doing this to ourselves if, if, like, if this is not the first time this is not the second time this is not the third time this is not the fourth time this is not the fifth time this is not the sixth time i do not remember the last time black stars want to play match in baba yara sports stadium then they will come out and say everything is on point a ghana that we call ourselves as a football nation do not have a single one sports stadium that qualify that when it comes to black stars matches or the national team can be comfortable across sports stadium and uh, secondly temporary sports stadium that one said i don't know how things are going tamale um aliu mahama sports stadium that is not working um i think cape coast is another problem but by other sports stadium we have been managing winning matches at least if some stadium are not even are not even ready for things Baba, Baba Yara Sports Stadium should be a stadium that should set to some certain standard why because all Ghana matches that will qualify for World Cup and African Cup of Nations both matches will play in Baba Yara Sports Stadium so Baba Yara Sports Stadium is a stadium that always that is where Ghana qualify for World Cup and African Cup of Nations so even if you cannot maintain the rest of the stadium that sports stadium should always on point all the time but why do we have to wait all the time when the remaining week that is where we'll be running here and that to put water expecting i wish i wish uh, 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 fifa or CAF the sanction ghana not to play the match in baba yara sports stadium and even put ban on us and ghana will go away to play game and lose there then we will take make lesson because i feel like fifa and uh, a calf are not doing enough they always consider ghana so much because that is why we are doing what we are doing if you look at the pitch why all the money that coming from black stars where this money is going there are some countries that when you are talking about in terms of football in terms of national team side they are nowhere close to ghana but when you go to their when you go to their 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 country and you see their sports stadiums you ask the, they are said that are they not here in africa go to tanzania check tanzanians club check tanzanian sports stadiums how their club is paying their players i watch a video when ghanaian footballer one is talking about how it was so sad how ghanaian players hung at the wire some of them because the salary that they are getting you that living here in europe ordinary person Ghanaian player salary you use it here one day for supermarket to buy things if you have family and why it have to happen so tanzania sudan the moment they say they want Ghanaian player fast down the player is moving why because they knew that they're going to get a better salary there rwanda play, a club when rwanda club won ghana Ghanaian players fast down they are going why because they know they knew that they're going to get something there why it have to happen so go to angola how many times i'm going to be into walk up i think only once that was 2006. check up their teams they have money to 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 buy players from portugal from brazil from from slovakia slovenia even german players are playing angola at league then when we woke up we always say we are football nation then we don't have a good sports stadium to host our national team when you look at the pitch it is so so sad and we keep talking about this day our day in day our day in day our day in you see i always talk about some certain things here i do not believe a lot of things that the only problem in ghana is about only our leaders only but all of us as individuals we just need some kind of mindset we just need to change the way we we does what things most of the times 
you will see this one will come out and talk about the politician will talk about these people but if that person get a chance to replace the people that he was talking about he will do more than the person that was there and day out day in day out day in day out day in the what we know is black stars qualify for tournament and we pack the all the leaders pack themselves go to that tournament and we fail and we come back again and next year we use that spares money go to this tournament and we come back again and next year and we are now using everything in for politics going against each other it is mpp time it is ndc time and we keep wasting money here and there day out day in <sighs> by the way we see how things goes thank you very much for always watching our winning unity platform we do really appreciate your time once again